Hey, Lakeway friends and family, Pastor Mike here with a little bit of midweek motivation for you. Hope I find you all healthy and well. You know, the Bible tells us that there are three facets of our Christian faith that are absolutely crucial to a healthy spiritual walk. Faith, hope, and love. And of these three, love is kind of the kingpin that holds everything else together, which makes absolute sense because the Bible tells us that God is love. So when you think about it, all love, whether it's a mother's love for a child, love between a husband and a wife, wife and a husband, or your BFF love, all that love comes from God because God is love. Now, sometimes we kind of twist and we abuse that love. We uh, put love where we ought not to in a certain relationship, but that's a whole nother thing. I'm not going to talk about that today. But when it comes to faith, hope, and love, Love is the kingpin because the other two, faith and hope, are anchored in love. You know, once you get your head around the fact of just how deeply and how much God loves you, uh, it will drive your faith. Faith is our response to God's love. It's the way that we demonstrate to God that we love Him. That's what faith is. It is demonstrated trust, which brings us to hope. Hope is an interesting one. You know, without hope, the heart grows faint and the desire to continue on fades. Even the desire to live fades away when there is no hope. Hope is absolutely essential to our spiritual and emotional well-being. But something that I've discovered about hope is that, that sometimes it can ebb and flow. When we feel the presence of God, you know, when we see prayers answered, we see the evidence of God in our lives, in the lives of people around us, and it's kind of like, wow, then our hope is really high. Our hope in God is, is rock solid. But when life takes an unexpected turn and things happen that we weren't expecting, things that, that, that happen that take it out of our control, and we have nowhere else to turn but God, and we cry out to God, and then we, we feel like, we're not getting a response. I'm not sure if he's hearing me. Then hope becomes a struggle. And sometimes we, we kind of start off strong. I've got a few verses for you here. Psalm 33, 20, you know, we put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. It's like, yay, God. Oh, my hope is in the Lord. God is the one. And then Psalm 33, 22 says, let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. God's my man. I, I'm trusting. He loves me. I know that I can trust Him. I've got hope. But when things start to get difficult and we're desperately calling on the Lord, God, would you bring healing to my marriage? God, would you protect my errant child? Bring them back home to me. Take them out of danger. God, would you heal my sick body, my mom's sick body, my spouse's sick body, my child's sick body? And you're calling out in desperation to God because you've got nowhere else to turn and, and nothing changes. And maybe things get even worse and you start to feel down and, and hope starts to disappear. And you might feel like this. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I'll put my hope in God. I will praise Him again, my Savior and our and my God, and it's kind of like we redouble our efforts. I just need to trust more. I just need to pray more. I just need to cry out more. Uh, we even start to feel guilty about feeling discouraged. I just don't have enough faith. But still, if things don't go in the right direction, we begin to get desperate. And then maybe we feel like this, Psalm 62, 5. Let all that I, let all that I am wait quietly before God. For my hope is in Him. And we just begin to wait. You know, I, I know God's going to come through. I just need to wait on God. My faith is still strong. You're my only hope, God. I'm just going to wait on you. And you keep on waiting. And sometimes we get to this point, Psalm 119, 81. I am worn out waiting for your rescue. Sometimes it kind of gets to that place where we think, do you even hear me, God? Do you care? But I love how this verse ends. But I have put my hope in your word. You know, this week, thinking about this message, and this week's message about hope, that last part really spoke to me because 
Sometimes it's hard to answer people when they're going through the most difficult circumstances. And you can see that they're worn out. They've been waiting for God's rescue and God hasn't come through. And I struggled with it this week and I went to God's Word. And it regenerated my own hope. You know, if that's where you are, if you're coming to that place where you're worn out, waiting for God, I have a word for you this Sunday. Sometimes we struggle with the concept of hope. We begin to lose hope. We wonder where God is. Here's what I want you to know. We have a destiny of hope. It's inside of us. It's part of this craving. And that's what I'm going to share with you on this Sunday. So please join us in person. We're going to be open here at the church or join us online at 11 a.m. Facebook, YouTube, or just go to our, our website or our app. And I want to give you a word about hope. Hey, and every Thursday at 7 p.m., I have a hangout time. I want to invite you to come. Uh, we talk, we do a devotion, I pray. We just kind of hang out, maybe an hour or so. Um, tonight, I've got a guest who's going to share her faith story. And if you want to be a part of it, text me, message me, email me. I'll send you the link. We're using Google Meet. Give me a shout. I'll send you the link. Hey, I hope to see you on Sunday. I love you all. And remember, He is our hope.